every year from the date of the accident, it runs again as a warning to others. Plunge into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Percy, what are you talking about? The ghost train. Driver saw it last night. Where? Asked Thomas and Toby. He didn't say. Oh, it makes my wheels wobble to think of it. Ha! Huh, said Thomas. You're just a silly little engine. I'm not scared. Thomas didn't believe in your ghost, said Percy next morning. His driver laughed. Neither do I. It was a pretend ghost on television. Percy was disappointed. That evening, he came back from the harbour. explained what had happened. I'll see to it, said the signalman, but you'd better clean Percy or people will think he's a ghost. Percy chuckled. Do let's pretend I'm a ghost and scare Thomas. That will teach him to say I'm a silly little engine. Toby promised to help. <laughs> Percy's had an accident, cried Toby. Poor engine, said Thomas. Botheration! That means I'll be late. They've cleared the line for you, but there's something worse. Out with it, Toby. I can't wait all evening. I've just seen something, said Toby. It looked like Percy's ghost. It said it was, was coming here to, to, to warn us. Huh! Who cares? Don't be frightened, Toby. I'll take care of you. Let me in! Let me in! Wailed Percy. No, no, not by the smoke of my chimney, Jim, Jim. I'll chop and I'll pop and I'll break your door in. Dear, exclaimed Thomas. It's getting late. Oh, I've no idea. Oh, I must find Annie and Clarabel. It was morning when Thomas returned. Where have you been? asked Toby. Ah, well, said Thomas. I knew you'd be sad about Percy, and I, uh, I didn't like to intrude. I slept in the good shed. And... <laughs> He was none the worse for his adventure and was still enjoying himself enormously. He had heard everything. Well, 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 what do you know about that? Anyone would think, chuckled Toby, that our Thomas had just seen a ghost. Mm -hmm. 